Let us take a brief look at the game Super Mario Brothers. You play as the protagonist Mario. You're an Italian plumber who has to go through linear levels in order to get to the final stage, which you defeat a boss and rescue the princess. Now this is an extremely common plot when it comes to NES games. But then you've got your Mega Man, a blue robot created in the year 2000X by Dr. Light and Dr. White. In reality, Mega Man is one of Capcom's best known characters. His first game, titled Rockman, was released in Japan for the Famicom in 1987. As Mega Man, you must defeat Dr. Wily in his attempt to dominate the world with the other six robots him and Dr. Light had previously created for industrial use. Wily, of course, does this because he's got no credit for helping Dr. Light make the robots. Whoa. That's a pretty creative plot for an NES game. After every level you complete, you get the robot's weapon. You can pick what order you want to play the levels, so each new weapon is used to its maximum potential. The order that's worked best for me so far was Bomb Man, Guts Man, Cut Man, Alec Man, Ice Man, and finally, Fire Man. After defeating all the robots, you of course must fight Dr. Wily in order to win. There are some minor flaws in the original Mega Man, but none of them are really worth mentioning. It's still a fun game, and they're all basically fixed in Mega Man 2. If you own an NES, and you're just looking for a fun NES game, then get Mega Man 2. But if you're a collector, then I definitely recommend you having this game.